Well, Richard, it's a lot of history of that number two jersey, isn't it? You know, you think of the Welsh people like Bryn Meredith and Bobby Windsor and more recently Keith Wood and uh, Steve Thompson. The history attached to that shirt. Yeah, it's, uh, it's you think of all the people gone past and it's, it's an amazing achievement and uh, they really did the jersey proud. And uh, if I get that opportunity, I, like, uh, I pretty much like to do the same. And I, I always remember walking into the dressing room and seeing my, my jersey hanging, my Lions jersey hanging for the first time. I thought, God, I think the players who've gone through and worn that jersey, you feel the same, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. You just, you like they did, you want to do it justice. And yeah. hopefully, I, if I get the opportunity, I will. Yeah, yeah. And then it's all about getting the test spot, and that's what you're after, I suppose. Eh? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the lead up of the seven one games. You got you got to perform. Uh, you know, nothing's for certain. Uh, so, yeah, ultimately that's the goal. Yeah, because you have a game in Hong Kong. It'll, you must say we'll play there because mostly Welsh boys. And how many provincial games then before the first test? I think it's another six before the uh, first test. So, it's so a, much time then. Set your mark. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, and with the squad we got, it's going to be tough competition for places. So it's uh, it's really open and. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I think Gats has already penciled in his test team. Do you think? Uh, he's, <laughs> he's probably got a, an idea what Fair he idea. wants. Yeah, and. Yeah. But again, you never know what's going to happen. It's those seven games before the three tests. You, it's going to pick up injuries. You're going to pick up uh, little knocks. Boys are going to drop in form. It's going. To, it's open, really. You must know yeah. the Lions. Well, it's interesting actually with the, with the hookers because he's it's been he's gone out to the box to pick these other guys, hasn't he? He weren't really as contenders at one stage. So so he's obviously he knows both that position more than any other position, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he's a, an ex hooker himself, yeah. and uh, so he he really looks at that position and. Uh, yeah, he's. It's just a couple of uh, people have asked, what, "What do you think of it?" It's, it's an interesting call. It's uh, mm. you got to feel for the people not to be impacted, and uh, yeah. you're just very happy to be impacted. Yeah. So, uh, well, you're part of the Welsh team now. That's won everything, so you got yeah. you're ahead of them at the moment, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah, but it's again those those boys are playing really well, so it's going to be yeah. tough tough for competition. Yeah. And I wonder what the. Um, in, in my time, when we used to scrimmage a lot against each other, not that I hate scrimmage, <laughs> but when you look at, uh, when talk about Bobby Wins and those boys, the, the scrimmaging in the training was as hard as the scrimmaging in the matches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think it will be. We look at that uh, Living the Lions DVD yeah. uh, in, in the 90s and the fight breaks out in the yeah. training. It's just, yeah. that's how tense it is and that's what it means to everyone, I think. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, you must yeah. know. But, uh, and it'd be like, be like that right up to the bitter end, you know, until that first test is picked and then. Yeah, yeah. That, that last session before that first test selection is going to be uh, massive. Uh, oh, I can imagine, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be yeah. interesting. Do you know, another, uh, also, uh, some players go into and they can't cope with being away for six or seven weeks. Some people yeah. thrive in it, some people yeah. get homesick or something like that. How, how are you with that? I'm, I'm not too bad. I actually, uh, my wife thinks I prefer hotel rooms, so <laughs> I do like a hotel room, so I'm going to really enjoy it. Uh, Obviously, we had uh, a little small mini tour last year with the wheels there, so it's uh, compared to this one, it's not as long. So it's yeah. going to be it's not as long as you guys were over there. So I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Three and a half months. You know? yeah. We weren't paid as much as you, anyway. So. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, well, it was our only way of being a professional rugby player in those days. That we were thinking rugby from morning yeah. to night, like, like you boys do it regularly now. But but still, even then, some people thrive in it. Yeah. Some people can't cope with it. They miss their families. They miss yeah. their home comforts. You, I know you were in Australia last year and you've been there and you've tasted it. You know yeah. what sort of what the challenge is like. You've got to start it really with the other boys, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. We, we were so close last year to getting a, a, a three series win. Um, I think it was 11 points across the board. So we've sort of got experience. We, we want to put that right as well. Uh, a lot of the, and it's 15 of us who really got uh, that thinking about that as well. So it's. Yeah. It's going to be good over yeah. there. And what's going to be good? Be, the, the Welsh team are going to be the nucleus of the, the tour party, obviously, and of the test team. But you must be looking forward to playing with his, all these other English, or Scottish, Irish boys as well, which you, you must like, respect. Yeah, exactly. I've, uh, I'm sick of playing against Cole this year. Every, uh, <laughs> so it'd be good to actually scrimmage against, uh, alongside him. So, and uh, it'd be interesting to actually see what these people are like. We play them on the pitch, and yeah. they're nothing like what they are off the pitch. So yeah. Yeah, it'd be. Yeah. Awesome opportunity. And this was in, in our time. I went to a tour party once to New Zealand in 1977 where there were 17 Welsh boys out of the 30. But we were very much aware that there of cliques. Yeah. So we weren't allowed to share with a Welshman. We had to, wherever <laughs> we went, we had to share with someone else. Yeah. Do you think it'd be something like that again with you guys? Oh, be, uh, you guys probably started that off. Yeah, yeah. it's probably going exactly the same. I think uh, 
yeah, that's it's normally a Welsh and English man, so yeah. uh, so yeah. that would be an interesting rooming list. It's good though, you know, that yeah. uh, you became you, you find out a different side to those guys then, which you've yeah. never met before, apart from playing against yeah. them, and you you will, I can guarantee, you will become big friends with those guys for yeah. the rest of your lives, hopefully. That's it, yeah. Well, that's why I spoke to the boys uh, who were lucky enough to go on the last Lions tour, and they said that. The, the people they meet are amazing, and yeah. you never expect them to be the way they are. And they're, yeah. they're, they're yeah. friends for life. Yeah. So and the next fe February, you'll be battered in hell out of them out there. <laughs> exactly. That's how it goes, yeah. isn't it, for Lions? Yeah. That's what makes the Lions so wonderful, really. It's yeah. quite unique, isn't it, for that? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. You got any your favourite moments back? Yeah. I was lucky I went on possibly one of the best Lions tours ever, and I said before, yeah. well, we beat South Africa 3 0 and drew the last test. Yeah. Um, and then I saw the other side, when I went in 97 New Zealand, where we just lost 3 1. Yeah. The only thing I say, the difference between winning and losing can be that small. Mm -hmm. I think, of course, if you do win a Test Series, you become then in the <laughs> land of the legends. And yeah. uh, not many people can say they've won exactly, Test matches yeah. in Australia. Yes. Or won anything in Australia. Huh. Yeah, so, uh, do you think yeah. you can do it? Yes, I think uh, with the squad we got, I think mm. Gats got a certain game plan. Uh, he's, he seemed to pick size and power, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about the squad. You yeah. just go by the names left out of the squad. Yeah. Uh, see how good yeah. the actual squad is. is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to get to know these people and play with them and yeah. see what they actually are. Yeah, and it's going to be tough for those guys as well because there's going to be a Welsh click there, obviously. I shouldn't yeah. say click so yeah. much, but our Gatlin coaches, you used to that. They, they are now looking forward to being coached by Gatlin and Howley, these guys, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They get the inside tricks. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, well, Gatlin's and Howley's records speak for themselves over the last few yeah. years. So I think a lot of these boys will be excited to be coached by them. And yeah. Uh, Don't give too many secrets away. Though. Exactly. Play yeah. Again, actually. Yeah. yeah, we'll give them last year's tricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, otherwise, it's. Uh, I just wish you good luck. I mean, it's all about really staying fit, taking your opportunity, yeah. whatever games you get in, yeah. taking it, and then getting into that test team and yeah. winning the test matches. That's it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Good luck to you. Cheers. Thanks.